Voyager flies to a planetoid to grab some petrol for their engines. When an away team gets there, turns out their scans were false and there is no petrol. You know what is there though? <laughs> a guy who steals Neelix's lungs! Which feels a bit harsh, okay he's annoying, but he's not Tom Paris. Janeway's having none of this shit and she teleports down to the planetoid with an away team. They find a warm rock and Janeway poops some yellow at it, then walks down the corridor they uncover. Back on the ship, the doc has an idea to give Neelix holographic lungs. Paris tries to piss on this because holograms are just light without matter, and the doc's counterpoint to this argument makes him my new favourite character. No real matter involved. Incidentally, we see Kez being given more leeway by the doctor here, who's usually quite brusque with everyone. Doc's MO seems to be, if you treat me like a tool, I'll act like a tool. Which, to be fair, is a pretty good philosophy for life. The away team continue exploring the installation and find Jimmy Lung Thief's Organ Emporium, the one-stop shop for all your body part needs. Uh, they aren't in the market for new buttocks though, so instead they chase after a life sign they detect. Too slow though. Despite Tuvok pooping some yellow on Jimmy, he legs it to a ship and buggers off. Chakotay must have been fucking about on his phone or something, because by the time they figure out a tractor beam might be smart, Jimmy's already gone to warp. Janeway teleports back up and we're off in pursuit. Neelix wakes up with his new hollow lungs, and responds to the news that he can't move or he'll die by insulting the decor. Then he asks the doctor to sing. Go on, doc, just pull the plug. Nobody would blame you. Say it was a malfunction. They won't look into it too hard. Pretend you're doing it to Paris, that'll make it easier. Meanwhile, on the bridge, they finished analysing the device that Jimmy Lungthief dropped when Tuvok pooped yellow on him. It's a, uh, a scanner gun scalpel, and it's real good at taking your insides out. Then they catch up with Jimmy at a big rock, but he's gone inside. The hole's big enough for Voyager though, so let's fly our ship into a very enclosed area containing unknown but demonstrably hostile aliens whose technology has consistently been equal to or in excess of our own because this is a sound tactical decision. In the sick bay, Neelix is worse for wear psychologically and after he panics and has to be sedated, we see the doctor exhibiting genuine emotion. It's understated and the more effective for it, especially after the sometimes clumsy broad strokes of character we've seen applied to most of the crew so far. Up on the bridge, we discover the inside of the big rock is made of mirrors, and we can't tell which alien ship is real because our scanners don't like being inside a big rock made up of mirrors. Janeway decides to take the ship in some more rather than use it to block the entrance and send out automated probes to find the real ship, then go over in a shuttlecraft, but I'm sure she has a great reason for this. We never find out. Back in sickbay, Kez gets the doctor to confide in her that he's overwhelmed with being the entire medical staff, then helps him realise that he has both psychological needs himself and the capacity to become more than the sum of his subroutines. Four episodes in, and these exchanges have consistently been the high point of the writing. Meanwhile, Jimmy Lungthief's mystery alien mirror cave is sucking up Voyager's power. To solve this, they make Voyager poop some weak yellow all over the place, the logic being it'll bounce around till it hits the enemy ship which they could have done from the entrance. They find the real ship and it tries to run, which it couldn't have done if Voyager was blocking the entrance, just saying. But we can pick up life signs now from it for some reason, despite scanning being blocked before, don't overthink it. And we just straight up teleport Jimmy and his friend to Voyager, because if you're on a ship being hit by a yellow poop laser, you start the engines before the shields apparently. We get our first real look at Jimmy, who seems to be cosplaying as Harold the Ghoul from Fallout. Anyway, they have space plague and need constant organic material from alien species in order to survive. The lungs are already in Jimmy's mate though, so taking them out would kill the guy and Janeway, quote, does not have the freedom to kill you to save another, and you can bet your fucking ass I'm coming back to that particular pearl of wisdom in season two when we meet a certain character called Tuvix. Anyway, Jimmy's mate wants to see Neelix, he thinks their medical tech might be better than Voyager's and wants to try and help. Turns out they can do wonders with alien lungs, so Kez donates one. Neelix gets better and everything is fine. End of episode. 